Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. On April 4, 2024, the United States Department of Defense, DOD, made a significant announcement regarding the Amphibious Combat Vehicle, ACV, program, signaling a crucial step forward in the modernization efforts of the U.S. Marine Corps' amphibious assault capabilities. The DoD disclosed a contract modification awarded to BAE Systems Land and Armaments LP, allocating additional funds for the procurement of three production representative test vehicles for the ACV Recovery ACVR, variant, alongside the necessary test support. This development follows a critical contract awarded to BAE Systems in March 2022, tasking the company with the design and development of the ACVR under a $34.9 million contract. The initial phase of the program, spanning 20 months, focused on preliminary design and engineering efforts, laying the groundwork for the subsequent phase, which involves delivering production test vehicles for user evaluations. The ACV program represents a cornerstone of the Marine Corps' amphibious assault capability enhancement, aiming to replace the legacy amphibious assault vehicles, AAVs, with a new generation of more capable, survivable, and versatile vehicles. Tailored to operate seamlessly from ship to shore and across diverse terrains, the ACV program comprises several variants designed to fulfill specific operational requirements. These variants include the ACV personnel, ACVP, 4 troop transportation, the ACV command, ACVC, 4 command and control operations, and the ACV recovery, ACVR, for maintenance and recovery tasks. Of particular significance, the ACVR variant is poised to supersede the Legacy Assault Amphibious Vehicle Recovery variant, AAVR-7A1, representing a substantial upgrade in the U.S. Marine Corps' recovery and maintenance capabilities. The ACVR, based on the chassis of the standard ACV but without a turret, will feature a crane mounted on the hull's top for recovery operations. Additionally, it will be armed with a 7.62mm machine gun for self-protection. The introduction of the ACVR variant is expected to provide direct field support, maintenance, and recovery services to the ACV family of vehicles, thereby enhancing the operational readiness and effectiveness of assault amphibian companies and battalions within the Marine Division. By integrating the ACVR variant into its amphibious combat vehicle fleet, the U.S. Marine Corps reaffirms its commitment to maintaining a resilient and versatile amphibious assault force. This upgrade marks a significant stride in enhancing the Marines' capability to execute modern amphibious operations, ensuring they remain well-equipped to confront the evolving challenges of contemporary warfare. That's all for now. See you later.